Welcome to another daily recap for Friday, November 3, 2023. You are looking at a one minute chart of the SPY or spiders, which tracks the S&P 500 index. Everything between these two vertical dotted lines is Friday's activity in the spiders. And the four horizontal lines are the levels that were calculated before the market opened and produced trades. There were nine total levels identified this morning, but these are the four that the spiders hit. These daily levels in the spiders are the basis for activating trades in the E-menu futures, or ES. So let's take a look at how today's levels played out. Starting at 9.30 a.m. Eastern, when the market opened, the first level that price came into was 4.33.82. But this was not a trigger at this time because of the time of day. Then the spiders started to get close to the first of these three levels up here. Because these trades up here were in this zone were produced very like they produced profits very quickly i want to dive a little deeper into what would have happened per the automated method of how i trade these daily levels first since you'll notice that these top three levels are very close together they're all within 20 cents of each other in the spiders or roughly two points in the s so when levels are this close together you can consider this whole area as a zone where price can react from it's usually a very important area when the calculated levels are this close together so you need to consider what would likely happen if you let trades trigger automatically. There's always the possibility that each level would be spiked before finding resistance and pulling back into the profit target. So this means that with three levels this close together, you could have six or more ES contracts in play at the same time, assuming you're trading two contracts at a time. If you're trading, say, four ES contracts at a time, the system would have triggered three separate short trades and there would have been 12 contracts out of the money for a while. This is exactly what happened. So Let's say you're trading two contracts at each level. There would have been six ES contracts out of the money for four or five points for a little while before resistance was fully met and the pullback occurred. So you just need to consider what your margin limitations would be and understand that if multiple levels get triggered and they're in play at the same time, you could have a lot of margin being used while the trade is open. So all that being said, I prefer to be conservative and treat levels that are this close together as a zone. So in this case, I had resting limit orders to sell one ES contract at each level when the spiders reach the numbers. So as you can see, all levels up here were hit. All three contracts were filled at their corresponding price. And I had an average entry price in the ES, which I used to determine where I wanted the base hit to trigger. And I just mentioned this because today's price action is a good learning opportunity about how to tr approach trades when calculated levels are this close together. So these first three trades were in the bag, produced base hits, and they were off the table for the rest of the trading day. And then the 433 level came into play later that morning. When the spiders came into that level, a, a limit order was triggered to buy ES contracts when the spiders touched 433.87, which is the five cent buffer that I applied to the calculated levels for all of my trades. And as you can see at 1016 AM, the spiders touched, or they actually spiked below, found a low of 433.86, which is exactly one penny below the entry point in the ES. So this was a picture perfect trade not out of the money for more than a second before the price shot back up. So this final level at 433.82 was satisfied, provided the base hit, fourth base hit of the morning, and it was off the table for the rest of the trading session. Here are the nine levels that were calculated this morning before the market opened, starting at the column labeled F, you'll see the four levels that produced trades. I know, or I show what each level uh, produced as trading as traded per the rules of the strategy that I use, which is that each level triggering independent trades of multiple ES contracts. Again, I traded three contracts across the top three levels, so my profits were less, but still pretty good money for the first 45 minutes of the trading day. So you can take a look at your profit potentials depending on the number of ES contracts um, traded, and it's a pretty good week. All, a lot of ES points earned, no fumbles, no TKOs. And almost all these trades were like counter trend plays on the short side as the market melted up during this week's short squeeze. Hope you found this information interesting and helpful. Have a great day.